I'm here with Bapin Yai Singh CM uh, from the NPP who has just won from the Morinkaneng uh, constituency by a margin of over 4,000 votes. Uh, let us hear what Bapin Yai has to say uh, post his victory. So Bapin Yai, like, uh, first of all, can you tell us how you feel? I'm very excited uh, to get this victory and uh, this victory is not our victory, it is the people's victory. So I thank God for this moment and also for his blessing that we have gone through all preparation in the whole month, in this month, uh, regarding this by-election from 13 Morganeng constituency. And I also thank all the party workers and also uh, parties which are uh, in the same uh, MDA alliance, like the UDP, the PDF, the BJP, and also the other uh, leaders from Congress party who have joined us and support us. And uh, our main uh, focus now is to bring development to our constituency. Uh, we have, the constituency is uh, facing so much of uh, uh, developmental, uh, uh, developmental activities which are lacking behind, like uh, proper uh, drinking water supply, like roads connectivities and healthcare uh, facilities. Like we have the government healthcare, uh, which uh, they are already there, existing ones. Like the health sub center wants to upgrade to the PHCs or the uh, CH, uh, PHCs to CHCs. So that this government health center can provide service uh, to our people in our constituency. And also, we are looking forward uh, to work together with uh, the farmers in our constituency because farmers right from last year they are they, they were facing so much of problem uh, because of this lockdown and we will urge the government that they will bring up uh, regulated markets so that it will bridge the gap between the farmers and the buyers so so that uh, uh, they will not uh, the, the the price of uh, vegetables or any uh, any produce uh, that uh, that the farmers uh, they are getting so that it will not go in a throwaway price. So these are a few important issues that we will take up uh, in this one and a four years uh, left for us. One and four months left uh, for this uh, term. So yeah. do you think that, you know, uh, uh, this victory will cement your seat in the uh, coming 2023 general elections in the state? Uh, yeah, in fact, this will be a good sign that people, uh, they've been trusted uh, us. And with this victory in this by-election, uh, we will try our level best to work hard for the interests of the people and also for the interests uh, in the state as a whole. Uh, let's see 23 what people will decide so but this one year four months which is left in this term will give our hundred percent our best to serve our people yeah so we've heard about being a uh, determination to work for the people of his constituency uh, stay stay tuned with the Shlong Times for more updates this is Iban Mari reporting for the Shlong Times